Oh yeah, so I'm starting live, but I don't know if it's on face if it's on um those who creates. Yeah, hold on. Um can you scan it away? Is it on that's live on my stuff, isn't it? Okay, get rid of that. Alright, no, I've got Someone's it. Someone's just got joined. It. Keep it, keep it. You got it? Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, hello everyone. Um, yeah, are you okay? Hello, my name's Amy, as you already know. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at drawing a lizard as I've posted up. Well, first of all, what I want you to do is um, get yourself a pen or pencil. <clears throat> Make sure it's nice and sharp and, um, and get your drawing material. So I'm going to guess that you've, you've got that up already. And um, when you're drawing, we, we need you to um, just sort of like loosen your hand. What I've noticed is um, people who, they're going into drawings and they're, they're tense up here. So I just need to really relax um, and start drawing. Okay, like me. <laughs> right. Okay. And pencil. breathe. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. I've got special light. You don't need to touch them. Okay, so what we're going to do, keep it away from the telly because mm -hmm. it's going to stop that. Right, um, we'll just actually just quickly show something now. Yeah? You got that? Um, so I'm going to be looking at that later, but we're going to look at trying to produce this. Okay, so this is just something that I got, and this is something that I've designed. Um, this is, um, so we're going to do it stage by stage, um, there's a lot of videos and, and pics out there um, think that, you can, that you can look at, um, but I thought this is quite a nice one because eventually I want to be able to go in and, and start doing the dragon and um, apply it to more complicated pieces. So we're going to start off with that, um, and as I was saying before, I'll um, look up the page and um, I've got a dog licking my arm. <laughs> Okay, so first and foremost, we're going to start off with drawing um, a couple of circles. Now, just like loosen your hand, loosen your hand, it's any circle. Well, they're kind of spears. Okay, so I'm going to be, so one's going to have the head and the other one is going to be the body. So we're going to have the head kind of just really loosely put the head in there. And notice I'm doing it really lightly as well. The sorts, of, the sorts of actions that your hand is going to be eventually looking at, kind of doing things like that, you want to start thinking about bones, because obviously we've all got bones in our hands, so if I was to draw like my hand, I know that there's bones in there, so you've got the little fingertip, you've got the joints, so you're looking at that sort of shape and this sort of shape, because the body, it's not rigid, um, it's soft, okay? So we're going to be looking at all that, those really soft lines, okay? So keep it nice and soft. Um, and so the next circle, so that's going to have like the head. And then the next circle is going to be even more the body. So again, do it. Look, um, as you can see, I'm doing it, sometimes I do it just like this. And then I slow, so I get the motion first. And then I apply the pencil. So get the motion first and then apply the pencil. Okay, and then you can do what you want with it. Right, so you, I've applied the pencil, and also we have to remember that these lines are going to be rubbed out as well. Um, this bit here, so this bit here is going to be like the, the, the skull. So as I was showing before, when you have a head, you have your head like that, and then you put your cross in there, and that tells you where things are going to go. So we all know that the eyes go in the middle, and then the nose is about there and, and the mouth is about there, okay? So the same applies with um, other animals. So again, here with the lizard, I know that the, the head, that, that's the head and, and the centre of the head is around like that. So crack on with that for a second. Um, and then we're going to move on to the next bit. I'm just checking to see if... Uh, right, so in one minute I'm going to start the Zoom meeting, so it would be nice to see um, what
what people are doing as well. Okay, so you obviously have the head and then through the, through the body you have the spine as well. So we're going to be looking at putting that line in there as well. It's like okay. a smooth S. Hey? It's like a smooth S. Yeah, yeah. So, we, we, yeah, like a smooth S. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we, so we've got the, this on here. Because I'm such a control freak, I just want to have a look and see what you've got, what you've got filming. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to see, I've got that, like, when you hook it up. You just there. draw. Um, okay, so I'm going to, no, I'm just going to start the Zoom the zoom meeting now so i'm going to start zoom so if anybody wants to click on and then so i can add zoom as well at the same time right so the next stage we've got so we've got the spine going on and um we've got the spine see beyonce's got loads of people working for her she, all what she needs the to do is she doesn't need to your adhd things. is unreal <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're now going to be looking at the neck so here let me just get rid of some of these lines here. Oh, the zoom, it says that the error occurred. Oh, never mind. Um, okay, so the next bit is going to be this line here. So we've got the two circles, well, kind of oval shapes. We've got the center, head, the center line where the head is going to be. We've got the spinal column, which is where eventually the tail is going to come out. And then we've got, we're starting on the neck and the undercarriage of the, um, of the lizard's belly. So we're going to go under, and we're going to join that line with this. Because obviously at the end of it, we don't want these lines, all these lines are going to be rubbed out and these other lines are going to be darker. So this, this bit here goes in, and then this here, we're going to keep that, but that line here, is like a continuation. What happens is if I feel confident with a line, I um, darken it up like that. Okay, and then there's a whole host of like shading and stuff that you can do. I try not to use the rubber too much. Okay. And so when I was saying before about these kinds of lines here, so we're gonna apply that to here because that's, that's where the neck's gonna be. And then as that comes out here like that, this line here, I'm going to swoop round. Um, and that's obviously the tail. Now, I've learned... Fran from... Town said, is it on Facebook? Um, what? Is what on Facebook? The, the live video? I don't know. I think so. Who is that? Brown Town? No, Fran Town. Fran? Yeah, just say yes. Well, she can hear us. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah, as you probably, as you can probably tell. Um, it's Nana. It's Nana on it. Nana's on oh, it. Hi, daddy. <laughs> oh, daddy, I've got to show him some books. No, not not now. No. Um. No, but yeah, I'm going to show him a bit later. Yeah. No, no, it's actually. Oh, wicked! It's oh my god. Working. Right, so Zoom is on. Uh, join with computer. And sorry. Okay. So recap. See waiting room. Okay, so I've got a waiting room, so I'm just going to admit a couple of people. Awesome. Hi, guys. Hello. Okay, so I'm just going to crack on with. Hello. I'm just going to crack on with the drawing. Um, so, okay, so we've got these lines here. We've got this line here. We've got, so we've got the underbelly that goes here. And then we want to add in um, the lizard. So the lizard goes up and then it goes... You mean the tail? Sorry, the lizard's tail goes up and then round. Now, normally what I do, else, can you focus in like this? Mm -hmm. Normally what I do with this is if I'm drawing, if I'm drawing a circle, what I will do is actually use my hand. Don't worry. Okay. Um, Hola. Let me just close that. Okay. 
so I'm just going to mute myself so you can hear that one. There. Yeah. Um, okay. So when you're when you're doing the tail, um, think about a lizard's tail. It's not sharp at the end, so we don't want that there. Um, it's generally smoother. But going back to when we're doing a circle, what I usually tell people, it, what I always tell people, is you use your hand to work as like a um, pivot. a pivot. Yeah. You can also, if you wanted, use your elbow. So if you wanted to draw a large circle, you're literally keeping your elbow still. And can you see that? You're drawing a really smooth line. Mm -hmm. And then you can apply the same with your hand. So you're just holding it straight. Yeah, you're just using it as a radius. Yeah, you're just using it as a radius. So you're going to apply that to some extent like that. But keep it light, don't worry about it too much. Um, okay, so with um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get rid of that line and um, we're just going to pause for a second just to evaluate where we are. Sorry, it looks a bit messy, but I kind of work messy sometimes. Um, so we've got this line here, I'm confident with that line. I'm thinking of, in my head, I'm thinking of the idea of a lizard and the lizard's face. So the, the actual personality of the lizard, the actual form of the lizard, lizard is starting to, is going to start showing itself soon. So and then we've got this line, we've got this line that comes under, we've got the belly, so we're always thinking circles and bones, we've got the inside, we've got the tail that swoops round, that's a bit of a kink now, swoops round. And then we've got um, this large. Is everybody okay? I just want to make sure everyone's okay as well. Yeah, if ever, yeah. anyone's going, if she's going too fast, just say. Yeah. Um, and then we've got this bit here. And then we've got, again, we've got that real faint line there, which is just a guiding line. So we've obviously kept our guiding lines in mm -hmm. at the moment. Um, so remember, because it's an animal, you've got to, it can have kinks, but it needs to be fleshy. So you're working with circles. Okay. Okay, there's a bit of a time lag, like she says. Oh, okay. Okay, so the next part of it, we're going to start thinking about putting the legs in. Now, a lot of people, when they say, oh, what can only draw stick people? What? What is that? The interaction between you and the camera is great. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm just missing the red wine, I think, but yeah, too many calories for that, um, and obviously it's too early. I mean, yeah. Okay, so when people say, oh, I can only draw sick people, well, that's how it actually starts, we only draw sick people, so if you're drawing, like, I can only draw sick people, you know, you, you, draw, you draw the sick people to, to, like, say if they're running, you draw them, you draw them like, kind of, eh, running, but then you flesh it out. Okay, so that's what we're going to do with these legs here. So we're going to draw, and we're just going to make sure that's in the correct place. Because when I was doing my um, prep sketch earlier, I put, the, I put them right down in the middle down here, and it just did not look right. Um, so the the um, the legs actually, if you look at a lizard, the legs actually come up to where the head is. So um, he's going to be, or she's going to be, um, kind of scuttling along. So there's its little stick leg. Um, the other leg is going to be directly opposite, as they normally are, <laughs> like symmetrical. Um, and then that leg's going to kind of go like that. And then along the back of the body, we have um, this this kind of shape. Okay, so it's going to be kind of that sort of think frog. Yeah. Okay. And then so that comes out, and then it flicks like that. Okay, really light at the moment. So I'll just wait for you to draw those in. So just make sure they're kind of, remember, think about the skeletal shape of the animal as well, because that's how things grow. They grow from our skeleton. They grow yeah. onto the muscle and, um, and then the fat. You're almost the... drawing your weight up through the skeleton yeah, muscle mass yeah. nice fat. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't do it the other way around. Um, because that doesn't make any sense, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Calcium deficient bones. Mm, yeah. 
So, um, okay. So now we're going to flesh these bits out. I've drawn these in quite difficult as well. I must be kind of um, applying a little bit too much pressure. Just grab this. Stress, dummy. No, no, it's because I've had loads of coffee and I had three biscuits. Oh, okay, makes sense. The what, this morning? Me. Yeah. Mum. I know. And um, I had that smoothie as well. So here, so then we're going to flesh these out. Um, okay, like that. And then that's going to go in like that. So think about your arms, right? So if you think about your arm, see that curve like that? That's sort of what you're doing there. So you're you're basically thinking about its little elbow. So it's got a little elbow here, hasn't it? And then it kind of comes out like that. It's not like that because that's your body doesn't work like that. Your body, well, if it's an, an animal body, it's got a curve to it because you, you're thinking about the muscles. So you, if you've got if you've got like say you've got the bone like that underneath, and then you've got the muscles that grow on top of there. So you're basically drawing that shape, if you see what I mean, yeah? Um, that's why artists have bones in their, um, like bones of birds and things in their, in their studios. I thought you were just going to stop there, it's like bones, yeah, all humans have bones. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you've got that there, and that there, and that there, and that there. Um, and then the next bit, am I going too fast, am I, is it just that I'm drinking too fast? No, I got told off for being shaky. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad. Well, that, now I need my dad, because my dad used to do camera work. Um, if you're Indian and you got married in the 70s in Coventry, it's more than likely that my dad did the video work for you. Um, did it have all the edits? Like the zooms in? No, well, no, he used to edit it himself as well. Um, like, put in... Um, a marriage is made in heaven. No, and celebrated on earth. Isn't that beautiful? So as you can see here, he's got like a little, or she's got a little bit there. And then we do the same again with the legs. But this time we're gonna actually uh, let that bit of the stick be part of the leg. Okay, so that bit that I'm kind of going over and over, that's, that's actually gonna be part of the leg and it's gonna go there. Okay, so imagine that's like the bone and that's like its big chunky leg. And then you've got that bit that comes down like that. And then this bit kind of goes round. Okay. I know what it is. Dad wants his light back. Oh, there's a cool turn off on. Is he on still? I don't know. It's my dad's fault that I became an artist. He always gave me art stuff in the, in the learning centre. Okay, so, so the same applies with this one. And um, again, we're going to have that so it matches that. So we're going to keep it symmetrical. Um, people say that the mind is kind of drawn to symmetry, um, which is true to an extent, but it's not, it's not always the case that people prefer symmetrical stuff. Um, right, okay, so we've got this bit here, and then this part of the leg is just a line that goes around like that. So you're just, you're just going to kind of follow that line. Yeah, mm -hmm. are we happy? You've got some chunky little legs there. Yeah, it's got some chunky little legs. I was thinking of your ones when you were a baby. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, right, so the next stage, kind of put this... No one can defeat me, I was Michelin baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, I think this is kind of where people's individual styles come out as well, because... Um, one thing I don't like at schools is when they say, right, copy this artist. And by doing that, you're not kind of letting the, the kid develop the, their own style, you see what I mean? They should say things like, okay, here's, I don't know, like Van Gogh's sunflowers, paint them how you would paint them. You know, here's some sunflowers, you paint them. And that, that way then, that gives kids the confidence to be like who they are. Mm. Is that, does that sound like... Well, no, it makes sense. Because if you're just copying it, it's like copying music straight from the thing, and that's legal, so... Yeah, like, like say, if you, uh, say if you're Beethoven. Okay, right, so say if you're Beethoven, if you're copying a Beethoven piece and you're in an orchestra and you paint that person and, you, and you, you know, you, you're doing that work, you always say, right, this is one of Beethoven's pieces. But as an artist, you can't then go around... If you're then copying, like, Goya's work... 
you can't say right that's you can say that's I get it I get it maybe to learn how but if to... people then sell it they get arrested don't they? well obviously yeah because they get found out anyway <laughs> run over yeah okay so what we're doing here now is looking at um the face so the face is going to be developed now so if you're looking at um is the lighting still okay yeah if you're looking at the face that's going to go around like that again that line's going to go so you can start rubbing um get sharp the sharp part it looks a new rubber sharp part of the rubber and start rubbing out bits of it like that because these bits are going to be part of the i think this one's going to have quite a big nose actually mm -hmm. like me um so that's going to go around like that you've got the head still there we've still got that line in there which is going to show the, the top of the head we've still got the neck in there and obviously we've got the we've got the legs like that i was going to you know what i was going to do all her but then i thought she's just not going to sit still straight long enough really well, currently she's biting her own tail no she's not she's cleaning herself nice um okay now we're going to put in the little fingers so literally you just that's that's all you're doing yeah so we're gonna go wah, wah. it's not a duck are we <laughs> like that um that one's gonna come off like that i'm gonna play with the fingers because like they look you mm -hmm. can what i'm gonna do is like have it so it's right so you know i said i was gonna do animals yeah i'm looking to like do a mythical animal so like a lot of the mythical stuff comes from um that is surreal yeah like lizards are obviously made into like dragons and stuff so what i what i was thinking about doing is putting like little on it on the edges like that like that but obviously they lizards have these kind of things they have their claws don't they and they have their like that so you can actually put those in but i like the idea of having little slopper slopper sucky pads like things anyway so then that's the lizards have sucky pads no, oh. pretend ones, you know. <laughs> um, okay, and then that's that one. So remember that line went down there. That's actually going to serve as sort of like the middle guidance there. So they've um, got their little hands there. And then the same applies with the feet. So the feet comes out like that. Bong. And then that one comes out. Is everyone okay then? Yeah. You got a comment and I don't know what it means. Um, Fran said we have to do it in the style of a certain artist, not copying. Copying artists. Oh, so, the if you're if you're um so some of the art classes that I've been to, um would be like um okay copy. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I But you also know. said... Um, how many fingers? <laughs> oh, so we've got five at the front. Five? five Isn't it four? No, it's four at the back. Oh, okay, four at the back, five at the front. Okay, and then this bit here is, is too rigid. It looks so like a little frog. Yeah, it is, they're kind of like related. Yeah, I think what kind of got me thinking about school curriculum art is that when I was in one of the classes, there was this lad and um, he says, oh, I miss me, so I've been doing this at work. I've been doing this at home. And I was absolutely stunned what he was doing at home. And it was amazing, I like the ideas behind it, the concepts behind it. I says, this is the sort of stuff you need to be doing at, at, at school. And he went, no, no, I can't bring that in. It's just like my own stuff. And that is, that's, that's the shame of it. That's kind of like, was that that's... No, 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 this was a guy at um, the school that I went to. So what's this now? That's just the eye. So what we're going to be doing now, which is sort of what I've been doing as I've been going along, is um, that, that this arm's a little bit too big, so I'm just going to bring this neck out a little bit. Um, what we're going to do now is that we're actually just going to make it a little bit more solid. Okay, so we're happy. <laughs> so I've kind of done that already, so I'm happy with that line. We're going to take it down like that, nice and smooth. And then we're going to um, add this bit in here. So that's going to go there. Orla is not constructive to this whole situation, is she? Orla's been licking my knee. <laughs> and then um, she wants to go out. 
and then the underbelly like that. What's that bit that you're drawing? That? So that's the neck. So you know when you start shading, mm. you'll start shading those bits in because that's sort of where, because it's 3D, isn't it? So it's not flat. Yeah, I just wondered what it was. Yeah. Um, and then, because that's the neck bit there, and then you've got your, your arm, not your arm, the, the, that's there. Okay, so um, you've got that, that comes out, but then you've got this bit here that sweeps round. Um, okay. I quite like it sometimes, like style-wise, I quite like it when you can see some of the working outlines. You see what I'm saying? Like if you're doing a sketch, yeah. it looks sometimes... It looks when you're doing nice. a sketch, but then if it was a finished like painting. Yeah, like if you want to be like photorealistic, that's, I mean, those, those sorts of things are amazing. Um, but if you want to like show some of the, it's like maths, it's, it's you're showing nice, you're working out. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice seeing the layering of the drawing. Yeah, yeah. Because when I when I first started to learn to draw in school, mm -hmm. it was like right, draw this bottle. So I try and draw it straight away and have no planning procedure or anything like that. But so I think see, yeah, the thing about that is, um, what I noticed is you have to, people aren't taught to see, and I only realised people couldn't see, like, and I'll go to, go into that in a little while when I started teaching adults. So basically, what's happening was. I was setting up a still life and they literally couldn't see the thing behind the thing and I'd say what because they were so focused on the first thing yeah and I'd say right now draw the line of the, 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 the I don't know apple or whatever it was behind or the container behind mm. and you'd be like oh I didn't even see that and then it's yeah. like wow um okay so now what we get what the, the bit where we're getting to now is just sort of like uh finishing it off so you've got your head there you got your your arm I don't really like this leg because it's way too small. Which um, one? This one. Hold on, let me just quickly measure it. I think. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, so oh, that. You've done a really chunky one. <laughs> yeah, that one is actually, it should be kind of about there, actually. Oh, damn. Yeah, but we're allowed to go wrong. Guess what? You know, it's like, this is another thing as well, is like, you, by going wrong, you're kind of learning as well. Um, and this is this is what I was saying about kind of it's okay you know we can't we're not all like getting things right all the time and if you did then you're weird no <laughs> yeah well I don't think anyone's got anything yeah. done all the time right well exactly just if someone says they can do something right all the time it either makes them like a liars or a robot all, all happy with the mistakes that they make and I'm happy with the mistakes I make. Okay, so that way I can now make that a little bit more. See, by doing that now, you can kind of start stylizing it yourself. So at this point here, I'm going to start stylizing it myself. Like, you can either kind of copy like what I'm doing. Um, or you can decide, you know, what, where you want to go with it. So I'm going to put the fingers like this. You know, I mean, the, you could even do human fingers, or you could do, like, fingers like that. Do not put nails on them. Oh, yeah, you could do, no, it would be please. amazing. Like, you could just do anything you want. Imagine um, a world where a lizard will go up to a nail salon and get its nails done. Yeah, like, so if it's got a nail on and it comes out like that. Acrylics. Yeah, and you can put acrylics on it or something. No. You know, you can do what you want. That is a bony um, finger. Okay, so... Right. Um, I'm just going to start giving it a little bit. I, I'm kind of... I want the tail to be bigger. Yeah. So I want I want that to be... And then you can always... You could always... You know, you could put a little fork on it if you wanted. Turn it into a chameleon. Yeah. And then have it going round... Yeah, I like the idea of making it a little bit bigger. Hang on, that's a little bit yeah, too that's big. That's a bit chunky. Way too chunky. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, right, so it's sort of getting there. I hope all your, you guys are okay with this. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is, um, this is like the final stage, wherever time-wise. Okay, we've got 25 minutes. 25 minutes. So you can bad. do shading colours and stuff. Yeah, so, so this bit here, if you wanted to start making it kind of more realistic, um, you'd start going in, going into it a little bit more. This is the, this is the part where I stop kind of drawing almost and then start seeing what you guys are doing, which is why it's a little bit difficult. Um, but what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to start putting bits in, bits in. So here will be the nose. Um, you, again, we've got that headline that goes up like that so if you well, think about the skull the skull is going to be in there isn't it and then we've got that line that goes there and like you were saying that s sort of shape earlier so mm -hmm. we've got that that goes around there and then we've also got the god the tail's really messy isn't it <laughs> i'm just gonna you know what it is it's because normally i draw flat what do you mean oh i draw flat but now i'm drawing up well you can put it on the floor if you want no 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 I did used to draw on the floor actually when I was doing A levels. I only ever drew on the floor. And then my sister literally drew on the floor where she had um, pavement paint like oh, right. things and they were they were just like pieces of art. That was kind of like just copying a famous artist. Um, but it was pretty stunning the sorts of stuff they came out with. Okay, so here's the little belly. Um and here we have that bit that comes in like that and then we just now would be a bit where we start building up i'm going to put a um i'm going to put a line in here like so so that's just going to be like the top of the head but then you've got the eye that is going to be here and then just sketching and then we just start you could start building it up like that maybe go a bit slower because there oh. was a lot of kind of detailed stuff in there though yeah okay so what what i want to do now then is what i'm going to do that say if i just concentrate sort of like kitty says she has chunky pencils chunky pencils yeah oh that's nice um what kind of chunky pencils i don't know just chunky ones um, just, I think if they're chunky, then that's okay. Just, um, do a bigger drawing. Them. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah sharpen yeah. them so they've got a really fine point. Yeah. And or, don't press down too hard on them. Yeah. Because you will snap them. And you can, well, you could also use a biro by that, that way. Because when, I mean, when we were young, we used to use like a biro and, um, just draw carefully. <laughs> I, I, yeah, that's easy to say. <laughs> okay, so I tried to draw with a pen and it was no, it wasn't okay. good. All right, is it okay? You, have you got the camera? I have it. If you have it, so it's kind of what? Yeah, I'm just thinking about the shadow. That's all. Okay, so here we have the eye, and then we've got the top of the head like this, and then imagine you've got the other eye on the other side. And if you have a look at your own eyes, you know, and from the side, if you've got a side mirror, you can see bits that stick out. So obviously that bit there is going to be the other eye that sticks out. And so remember what I said up here like that, that is kind of, you can apply that to here. So that's where the other eye is going to be. And then again, using those kind of organic shapes, imagine that the eye is in there and then that just goes add Just a little bump. Yeah, just a little bump. Like... I really like Japanese art because they literally draw like and you have a face. You see what I mean? It's, it's just like so, a few lines, a few dots and that's yeah, it. Yeah, it's just so quick. Um and it just says like that John Lennon, you know that John Lennon portrait. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Things like that I love because it's just the simplicity of it. Um okay, so if you have then if you just like sort of concentrate on the head. Imagine the brain. So we've got the brain that's in there. 
that's the round circle in there and then we've got the head there but then you can kind of start applying the 3d to it as well so remember what i was saying about the light so say if he's got light or she's got the light coming in through here oh yeah then that's going to be darker down here isn't it mm -hmm. like that um I'm not quite sure what and if the light's specifically there, then the rest of the body would be slightly darker. But then if it's just yeah. pure sunlight coming down, then you'd have to adjust it yeah. however you want the sunlight to be. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the drawing that I'm looking at is not very detailed. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of stop it there. Um, because you could go on. And because of my brain, uh, you can tell my mm -hmm. brain's like this so i want i want to start making it into more of a mythical almost like a mythical creature um what i would say as well is that that top spine there would come up a little bit more as well um the general rule of thumb is if it looks wrong it generally is wrong <laughs> um but then that's good because it means that you're learning um how to put it right and so for example when i did this leg this leg here it was short but then that gave me the um opportunity to change it a little bit do you see what i mean so if you think about it nothing's ever really wrong if you look at it philosophically okay the reason why i want to um, stop out. here um and i'm hoping that's okay for me to do that is because i just want to show you an example and this is the thing when I was saying about books. Um, so I'm self-taught, even though I went to uni um, and college. Um, no, it was, I think it was college, I went to uni. Um, so I studied my fine arts um, diploma at Coventry. And then I studied at Brighton. And nobody ever taught me how to draw. Nobody. What taught me, and this is why I was so happy to see Dad, is because these were the books that we had is that okay mm, just showing it. yeah these are the books that i grew up <laughs> oh, oh my god sorry guys hola hola, hola. bloody hell that's sorry hola there's nothing even there go out go get your food oh, go, go. Go. okay so these are the, these hola. Are the um... oh my god sorry guys hola Is the gate closed? It's the wind. Go on. She, okay. The gate's closed, yeah. um, okay, so these are the books that I grew up with as a child. And um, so obviously these were fascinating. So can you see here, look, what they've done? So they're, they're, they're literally stick animals. So you look at the skeleton. I think these go back to the 70s. You look at the skeletal form of it and then you just build it up. Yeah, so you're building up from the skeleton, you're building up, imagine where the muscle is. You can have pictures of um, muscles, um, like human muscles or whatever it is, but you just, um, then you then you apply the skin and all that sort of stuff. So I think if, if you have to come away with anything from, from the lesson, it is to build up from the inside out as opposed to the other way around. Because it's a very easy mistake to make, and it's something that I mean, were you taught that at school yourself? Build up from no, skeletal form we just, out. We just drew bottles and flowers. Okay. <laughs> so, but you didn't do it. GCC started it. And yeah. Then dropped it. Yeah. So here you can see the spine. You see the rib cage, the skull that I was talking about, and then all of that as well. If you think about the the, the neck of a lion, mm. there's so much muscle there because they're so strong. You I mean, know? I think I started drawing that when I was about eight, and it yeah. was actually quite easy when you follow it, that yeah. process. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, again, so start with stick animals or stick people. Um, you know, like I was saying here, so I'm just going to go through this face thing for you, with you again. Um, but before I do that, yeah, in terms of shading, just just start applying the shading so obviously the legs are going to be darker the crevices of the legs are going to be darker like round here um the insides of here are going to be darker i always apply the dark bits first um i think that's just some somebody was saying the other way around but well because then you can layer it if you make it wrong 
also the other thing is right that if you do the dark bits first if you don't have time to finish it it still looks okay <laughs> do you yeah. see what I mean oh that's a bit wrong um so you just apply um speaking of dark yeah I'll do it okay um yeah so just in the crevices as well spend some time kind of looking at yourself or looking at other people looking at um, nature around really using your eyes um examining stuff um you could start then if you wanted to you could put in scales like that if you wanted to you could put in like wings a bit as like a winged creature yeah do you see what i mean like you have the base of it and now you can just add details yeah so if you wanted to do like fantasy animals you generally start from nature and build it up like that mm. um okay so yeah so i'm just going to go back to the stick animal type stick people thing so if you draw and you know we, again we started off with shapes didn't we so we just built up the shape built up the shapes yeah, yeah. um so if you're starting to do a person you do the head and you know the head fits into the body how many times like five oh six four more seven yeah first time okay <laughs> <laughs> so you get one two three what about if you're a little person with a big head yeah I mean, look how big that looks. That's really long, isn't it? Uh, yeah. The arm, the arms come up to here. So if you look up the arms, your arms are actually quite low. Um, yeah, it's. If you then okay, so say if the person is standing, you got your shoulders. Um, you could even do it like that. You know how um, people do um, when they're doing fashion models. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, those guys are really good drawers as well, as well as architects. You've got your knees, you've got your feet, you've got your, um, that bit there. Your arms come down to here. And then you can just start building off there. So can you see already, it doesn't look that gross anymore, does it? You're going to have your hair there. You put your shoulders in. Um your elbows you got the little bits here okay here's another really quick tip where are we 17 um you got your hips there and then you just build it up so this one's gonna have boobs so like that cartoon character boobs and jesus yeah well it's a cartoon and then you can just build it up like that you have big hips you can do whatever you want you know just build it up you can, and then you can start applying clothes, like if she wants to wear shorts, or she's got knee pads. She's going to the roller disco. She's going to roller disco, and speaking of roller discos, we were disco we were rollering yesterday, weren't we? It's quite funny. It was. Okay, um, back up, because you've just got the shadow on there. Um, okay, so in terms of um, reviewing what we've learned today, um, we know that everything starts with shapes. So if you have a picture of a of this line, for example, you look at it, it can look very intimidating. But the first thing I'm thinking about, again, is your spine. So we know here, if you've got a line like that, we know there's a bone there because muscle doesn't go straight like that. Muscle is curvy. So but bones do tend to have that. So we also know through our, through our you know, we just know that around there is your like all your pelvis and stuff like that um you've got your spine that comes along there and remember we had that rib cage and then we've got the legs mm -hmm. that come out like that so you can actually just draw them as stick as stick things um so if i was to tackle to the tackle this drawing first of all i'll be thinking about the shapes um i'll be thinking about the muscle and then um i'll be also doing the proportion the angles um, and all that other stuff that we learnt in the other lesson, mm. in the very first lesson. Um, and then when it comes to shading, I'll be very mindful of... Um, oh, look at this panther here, he's eating a bird. Ah. Um, 
I'll be very mindful of where the light is coming in. So obviously, if you have a look at that, can you tell me where the light's coming in from here? It's like sunset. No, well, it, the, well, it looks like it. Yeah, we can see from the shadow here. Straight down. Let's have a look at Yeah, straight down. Because if you look at it, if you use that squinting thing that I was talking about, it's there and there. Can you see? Mm. That's where the light is coming in through. Um, again, if we were to use a third... Oh, let me... What? No. I was going to show some pictures that I'd actually drawn myself. Um, if you just keep concentrate on that for a sec. Um, yeah, keep that one there. <laughs> uh, exhibition time. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I've got some drawings here. So these are ones, if, it, if we're talking about using kind of like your imagination, um, and just making something out of nothing. You just um, build things up. So obviously this is like a tree, oh. but then I've manip... Can you see it okay? Yeah. Didn't, can you, do you want to come up behind me? The iPhone told me off. Why? So then you can't rotate it whilst it's recording. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so this, I didn't even think about that, just came out of nowhere. And then, so I'm looking at this tree and I'm just, I've just manipulated it into however I want it to look. Um, again, the faces. That face is really small. <laughs> um, but these are, because I like doing sort of more sort of fantasy stuff, um, I tend to use, um, you know, kind of realistic kind of imagery, but then just like jazz it up. These have also been turned into paintings, so they're just kind of sketches really, um, which were done a few years ago. But again, quite simple. That's quite a simple one. So she's just showing That's this little worm detail. something. Yeah, but it's, it was done very, very quickly. So you can see here, she's just showing this little wormy thing, a, a book, and then you just, and you're just shading in the bits where you know it's gonna be dark. And it's the shade, it's the light and the shade. Oh. Sorry, it's the light and the sh shade that makes it um, what it is. With this painting here of the little doggy, um, this was done with acrylic, which I really don't like working with. Um, the head does look a little bit bigger, but um, I'm just gonna go through what what I did with this. Is, is um, So obviously painted it straight on, but what makes the difference is um, obviously the proportion um, and then with here as well is with the um, the fine lines. So I used the paintbrush and just went really, really lightly with it. Because obviously animals have hair. Um, let me see if I can just quickly do um, a little bit just to show you. Oh, 11.22. Okay, so this is water mixable oil. Because I quite like using oil and I, I used to use quite a lot of... Um, was it watercolour? So I found the happy medium. I don't like using oils because I don't like so using It's a really tips. thin brush. Yeah, yeah. So this is a really thin brush. And I think women might be a little bit better at this. And I'm not being sexist. It's just women who wear makeup and are really good with makeup will probably be Been really practicing good. practicing since they were little. <laughs> yeah, on themselves. So I find that when I put makeup on, I can do, you know, if it if, if, take if... If I go a bit too far, I end up kind of just using my face as like um, a canvas. So with this, one of the one of the like really interesting things that I learned, good things that I learned to, in art class was to kind of go, what was it, like that. And my teacher said, twist it whilst you're, this is at Lynn Hall, she's a really good teacher. Um, twist it whilst you're... Mm doing it and then you get a really fine point and when you've got that fine point I use my finger um, and then just you can just do really fine lines like that um, and then also if you're then working on a bigger piece and then you have to try and keep a really straight line what I would then do is get another paintbrush um, and then put the paintbrush like this so you've got something to lean on um, again, just grab yourself a very sharp brush and then you can just, so if I wanted to make it purple, kind of 
the wall part. And the sound effects are important. Um, and then space use, lizard. Yeah, it's going to be space lizard. Yeah, as I was saying before, I want to work on um, a design, which had like um, a fantasy design. I was supposed to get it done for the seventh, um, but that's what this canvas is for, possibly. Possibly use that canvas. Okay, does that look okay? I mean, it's better than I can do. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, so if you then wanted to, it's quite think, cute. Yeah, if you then wanted to, obviously go into it. Um, you can just do like that, and then you can just decide. But I think I think the main things you have to understand is like, don't be scared of going wrong. I mean, that's one of the most important things. Is like you have to go wrong, you have to experiment, you have to um, not be perfect. You know, because that's how we learn. Okay. Hey, that's not too bad. <laughs> that's not too bad. But if you want, I think what would be really nice is to have a look and post the pictures that you guys have done. Because um, that would be really interesting for me to see. Because I've never, ever, ever taught a lesson like this. Hmm? No, you don't want you on it. Okay. I don't mind. It's eleven twenty six now. We've got a few minutes left. Is there are there any comments that um people are making that need correct answers to? No, it's just little comments. Like um Kitty like the elves. Oh wicked. Well yeah. they were more like what were they? Yeah, they're they're pixies. Pixies, that's it. Yeah, so they're they're pixie drawings. Um I talk um Again, I started off with just um, simple drawings, had a, a, a brief, um, and then just worked on just using your imagination. It is so important to use our imaginations. That's why I kind of like, I don't mind doing photorealistic stuff, and I can do it, but I want to be able to use my imagination. You know, I want to see kind of what, what my brain comes up with. Um, but when you're first starting off, um, it's I think it's really important to learn. Oh, now she's <laughs> I think it's really important to learn how to draw. Like a lot of, um, a lot of artists like Picasso and I don't know. Like I'm trying to think of somebody who's not Picasso. Um, but the reason why I mentioned him is because at the age of fifteen, I went to go. See, uh, well, I saw one of his paintings that he'd done at the age of fifteen, and it was amazing. It was. Really, really likes Picasso. Yeah. So, you know what? You know what? Because you like good. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, yeah. This is... If you can do the technical stuff first, yeah. like, for me, it might probably be easier to paint his later stuff, but I, could, I couldn't. Draw. You can be like the like the, the comment that was made before. First. Yeah, the comment that was made before is is to use them to influence. So you can yeah obviously be influenced like a lot of people are influenced by Banksy. What's the lizard called? We've been asked. Um, lizard. What should we name it? Mongoose. Lizzie. Mongoose. So mongoose. Lizzie's a little bit too. Um, lizard. Lizzie the lizard, but it's supposed to be actually thin Lizzie. Yeah. Thin Lizzie, it's a bit of a chunky Lizzie. No, it's not that chunky. It's a bit okay, of a chunky I'll, boy. I'll put ribs on it then. No! I like chunky Lizzie. Okay, we could put. So now he's chunky and a bit malnourished. Should we call him Chunky then? He's chunky, his name's Chunky. Chunky Monkey? He's, he's Chunky Monkey the Lizard. Now I'm just. I'm just Same saying. words. It's a... Yeah. Lockdown. Uh, it's not that much of a lockdown anymore, though, is it? Um, okay, yeah, I kind of... I'm hoping that that's okay. Yeah, um... you got one minute. Before I go, I've got one minute. Okay, because I'm just falling into... Um, Quick time. Kind of, yeah, right. S uh, line work. Shading. <laughs> shade, really wide shade, really thin shade. Um, Cross-hatching. And then cross hatch the other way, and that 
builds up layers and layers and layers as well. So if you're using your pencil, even if you're using a paintbrush, um, cross hatch, cross hatch, cross hatch. But again, just play with play with learning how to draw, um, and then that way I'm just scratching at the door now. All and then that way um, you will be really good artists. If you want to um, learn some more stuff, let me know, and um, I can help out um, by putting up some YouTube videos and stuff like that as well. And we were a little bit late, so we can afford to go a little bit further. No, because I thought there was someone after you, or is there not? No, there's not. It's just you? Yeah. <gasps> Initially, I thought it was a three-hour session, so... Yeah, she got really that. scared. <laughs> no, her, brain would, uh, her brain at the end of it would have just been like... <laughs> okay. Right, so, um, in terms of... Yeah, so here we go, promo. But I've, I'm, working, <laughs> I'm working on getting this book out. It's on a Kindle edition at the moment, but here's... Um, just some sort of picture so what i did with these is that i drew them i drew them and i'll use coloring pencils and then i threw them through um oh. sorry and then i threw it through photoshop and um i outlined them darker in photoshop and then used the different tools that we have there in order for it to then just pop because i wanted the, him as a character to pop mm. but these i hardly did much with all I really did here was just add a little bit of... Uh, so she shot. used crayons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used... Um, it was actually water mixable, like watercolour pencils. Oh, okay. Because that way... It was actually a mixture of watercolour pencils and normal pencil crayons. So I just then ha had the I had the option then to like just work into it. Sorry. Um, work into it a little bit more. But um, it's just what I'm saying is if you wanted to say... I mean, because I worked with a, an author who wanted to learn how to illustrate, she wanted to illustrate her own book. So um, it's just another, it's just another dimension to the artists, um, to the artists. What's it? This one here, it looks it's got like, a bit more detail. I yeah, think. but this was really, really quick, and I literally upstairs, I've seen upstairs, and I just scribble, 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 scribble. Um, it looks a bit bold. Where? There. Um, Sooty is a little bit bold in spaces but then also he's got these colours in it as well so he's actually got bits of brown in him as well mm -hmm. but again that's using that same technique with the um, with your pencil crayon and just like making it, sure it's really fine yeah and keeping your pencil crayon sharp you, you know pencils have to be sharp so whenever I go into a class whenever I'd go into a class um, school kids I'll go right everyone hold up your pencils hold and then it'll just be like yeah. On or non-existent no yeah right and then it would be right first thing everybody sharpen your pencil and then kids love art classes because they can relax in them mm. you know and it's just a nice thing to do that one's more cartoony yeah this one's more cartoony again what i did is um i scanned it put it through photoshop darkened some of the colors uh, manipulated parts of the design and um and then got it printed this one i didn't really have to do too much with um, I've also worked with um, making characters actually in. Photoshop. Hola. You said it's fine. It's yeah, fine. But she's she said, yeah, the door. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, so if you would like a lesson in um, how to make digital pictures as well, that is really easy to do. Um, but you do need to have certain programs to be able to do that. Again, that's just put through Photoshop. So is this is a story about my cat and my dog. Pissed off cat. Oh. What? Don't say that. Why? Annoyed cat. Oh. Um, Sorry. And then the end for meow. Okay. Any questions? Um, let me know. Um, I check Facebook regularly, <laughs> and I hope that was okay. It was my first lesson, so be kind. Bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye guys.